Full-time jobs, not a lot of vacation time or free time. Sound familiar? We're Cole and Rachel. We're not full-time travelers, just normal people who love the outdoors. Over the past few years, we've traveled to some of the most beautiful places in the U.S. and Canada, including more than a dozen national parks. One of our most recent adventures, a 4,000-mile road trip through Colorado, Utah, and parts of California during the pandemic. Welcome to Sequoia National Park. Come along on this episode of Working for the Wild. Good morning. Hello. We're just outside of Bryce Canyon, and it's going to be a beautiful day here. Good news is we're ahead of schedule. Never happens. What day is it? Saturday. It is July 25th, Saturday. We are going to Bryce Canyon today. We drove by here two summers ago when we were on a road trip, but we did not have time to stop, which I know is like stupid but we always try to fit a lot into a short amount of time because she doesn't have a lot of days off of work each year so we usually have like 10 days that we try to hit as many places as we can so we don't have a lot of just like willy-nilly stops along the way but we're really excited we're going to Bryce Canyon this morning we're packing up at our campground here right now this is the Red Canyon campground and it's been beautiful awesome wish we had more time here um but we're super excited, so we'll see you guys in the park. We're trying to do the Navajo Loop Queens Garden Loop combination trail. Um, and it's supposed to be the most popular hike, but apparently we're idiots and can't figure out where we're supposed to go. I so mean, there's a giant sign that says Navajo Loop, but right, but nothing that really said Queen's Garden. I'm sure it's on the back side of it or something. I'll just follow him. Did you figure it out? Well, I think we're getting our way there. Nice sunglasses. Thanks. <laughs> I tell Cole he looks like a bug in those. It is way too crowded for my liking, but it is the most popular one in the park, so I we guess- Should have expected that. Should have expected it. Weather's perfect. Really wouldn't want to do this one probably at the peak heat of the day, um, but it's like 70 and sunny right now and it feels awesome. nice little hike. Bryce Canyon is bumping right now it too. Is. Uh, we got here at like 8 o'clock. There's plenty of parking spots. We got here at like 8.30 this morning and uh, it's after 11 now and it's jam-packed. Yeah, when we got here we had no problem finding a spot. Now it's like psycho. Just loops of cars waiting for people to pull this out. Like, That's a pretty big parking lot. This is like Grand Canyon level. But the hike that we did was really good. It was only about three miles. We didn't want to do a big one because we have a big hike tomorrow morning. Um, this was perfect though. Like if you're just passing through yeah. Bryce Canyon. We made it. <laughs> We're in your ray. Colorado. It's pouring rain. One of the most beautiful places in the state. We can't see a dang thing. <laughs> but we have pizza. 
and we have like mozzarella egg roll things. We're feasting and then we're gonna go sit in a hot tub, which apparently is allowed during COVID with certain measures in place. Um, so we don't really know what's gonna happen. We had a big hike planned for tomorrow morning, but uh, can't really do it if it's pouring rain. So we're gonna eat and uh, try to figure out our, our lives here. Hot springs. I look like I got hit by a bus. Oh, and we're gonna shower. Well, I'm gonna shower. Are you gonna shower? For the first time since Monday. It's been five days. Pretty gross. <laughs> Seven twenty. Parking lot is full. Cole's geared up. Ready to go. You look like it's like thirty degrees outside. I don't like being cold. So we got quite an elevation gain here. It's like twenty four hundred feet, I believe, which isn't like unusual, but could be tough. about two and a half miles in. It's really steep. We've been struggling. We've probably had like 15 people pass us because we're going slow, but we don't really have a choice. What you doing up there? Checking out the view. How you feeling? Well, you know. He's not feeling great. I don't do well with steep. Inclines. And this is a steep one. So Cole thought I was crazy at first, but there are old railroad tracks right down here. And I, I'm assuming that's what they are. I don't know for sure, but they're mining in tracks. mining tracks, not railroad tracks. And it looks like this could possibly be an old mine shaft that's been covered up. There's a little opening right over here, but it's just crazy. We're at like 12,000 feet. And to think, we saw an old mine, a broken down mine on the way up. It's just crazy to think that they came all the way up here to get whatever they were mining for. I don't know, iron maybe? Probably. So we'll have to look this up and see if we're right. long skinny waterfall right here we didn't really hike by that one did we no big gushing up and down waterfall we just basically walked over the bottom of that one and it was a little sketchy but it was fun that one's the huge one you can't really see all the big water coming out of it it's kind of behind that big rock but we got some cool photos there that you will probably see so three waterfalls in this one valley yeah awesome
What do you think? We did it! The parking lot. It's hot down here. It is. What's your review? 10 second review. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Wow. It was great. We should get out of the way though. Okay. Cole thinks it was better than the Highline Loop Trail in Glacier. It, the whole thing really reminded me of Glacier though. There's so many waterfalls, so many water crossings. So maybe bring an extra pair of shoes or socks. We did it. We did it. We did it have it in? 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 Hey, 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 hey. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> now it's time for food and a beer. from inside the truck. We drove not very far yesterday after the hike. We grabbed some lunch that was delicious. And then we wanted to check out the hot springs in Pagosa Springs, but it um, was like full on thunderstorming. Not great for hot springs. We got kicked out like twice because it was lightning like crazy. We planned on camping outside Pagosa Springs, but the weather was so awful and it just wasn't worth it because we wouldn't be able to enjoy anything. Like the ground was too wet. We wouldn't have been able to have a fire. It just would have been gross. So we just drove a little farther and we are outside of Alamosa, Colorado now. Funnily. Fu funnily? Funnily? Uh, funnily. It's not a word. Funny. Funny, funny enough. enough. Funny enough. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> funny enough, we pulled off at this... Um, boondocking site that we stayed at on the very first night of our first big road trip two summers ago. It's actually just outside Great Sand Dunes National Park, but it's just funny that we ended up here again. And it's weird thinking back to when we first came here. It's quite different. We were so excited. But oh, and we slept in the back of the truck last night because it was still pouring rain when we got here. So that's where we are right now. This is the first time we've ever both tried to sleep in the back seat. It's actually not that bad. Went pretty well. It's like the size of a twin bed. And then we're gonna hit the road and we got something big happening tonight. Yeah. If you've ever driven through western Kansas, you know that it stinks like cow poop. Cole's offended because he's from Kansas. It, it does smell that way, but you need to say some nice things about Kansas. So some good yeah. things, so we got into Kansas, pouring rain, it's like little flash flood spots everywhere around here. Uh, but gas is under $2 a gallon big plus, especially since we drove from California. Um, what else has happened? There's no traffic. There's a sense of beauty on the plains of Kansas. Sense of beauty on the plains of Kansas. There is. Right now, it really stinks. Really bad. <laughs> More Kansas things. Torrential downpour. Driving on a dirt road. We just stopped to see Cole's dad and stepmom and they gave us some lemon blueberry bread. But that's not why we're in Kansas. We're on our way to pick up a very special girl. Hi honey, oh, oh my goodness. Hi little boop. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Who are you? You little stinker. <laughs> Want to see more of our adventures? Subscribe and click the bell button to find out what's next on Working for the Wild. Close to my face. Scoot back. Lean back. Little sun's in my eyes. I feel like I'm like getting that shout. She always has to be the center of attention. Okay, we're gonna have to start this over. <laughs> Breakfast. A really excited Cole in the sun. <laughs> Cole's not a morning person. She restarted the video because I was being too willy-nilly. Okay. I'll just do this later. <laughs> just what?